Numbers are a critical part of the way we understand our world. From the largest to the smallest elements of life. In this video series, I would like to explore numbers. Not just any ordinary numbers. We are going to explore big numbers. Last time, we defined Moser's number, a number that so massively overcomes numbers like Mega and Skew's number that we need some new tools to really describe its size. So far, we have discussed basic operations that include addition, multiplication, and exponentiation. If we keep moving forward, we will reach the next level of operations, tetration. A useful way to understand and use tetration is with Newth's up arrow notation, which works as follows. A single arrow works the same way as an exponent. The first number is raised to the second number. Likewise, a group of single arrows gives us a power tower, a stack of digits that represents the first number raised to the next, which is raised to the next, etc. This becomes a bit clunky to write out, however, which is where tetration comes in. Instead of writing out a group of five single arrows, each followed by two, we instead use a double arrow, where two double arrow five indicates that we have a stack of twos that is five high. This allows us to rewrite several of the large numbers we have already come across using more compact notation. One Googleplex is a stack of tens that is more than three high, but not quite four high. So we write 10 arrow arrow four. Skew's number, although much larger than Googleplex, is still a stack of tens that is not quite four high. So how big is the number mega as defined by Steinhaus and Moser? This number is a tad larger than a stack of tens that is 257 exponents high. That's big. But we will need a few more tools before we tackle Moser's number. Exponentiation can be written using a single arrow. Tetration uses a double arrow and describes how many single arrows are used. Likewise, pentation uses a triple arrow and describes how many double arrows are used. Hexation is next, using a quadruple arrow, and this pattern continues on. Let's start using this notation now to describe Moser's number. First, let us define an initial number, 3 quadruple arrow 3. How large is this quadruple arrow structure? 3 arrow 3 equals 27 while 3 double arrow 3 is approximately equal to 7.6 trillion. 3 triple arrow 3 is a stack of 3's that is 3 to the 3 to the 3 high. 3 quadruple arrow 3 can be rewritten as 3 triple arrow and then the number we just described. That means the height of our power tower can be described by another power tower, whose height is described by another power tower, and so on. How many power towers do we have? Three, triple arrow, three, which you'll notice itself has three power towers. So each time we add an arrow, we add a new direction of notation that we need to describe how big our original power tower is. Two arrows, a single vertical stack, Three arrows, a horizontal row of stacks. Four arrows, a stack of rows of stacks. And this pattern continues. So is this Moser's number? No. But we will use this number to describe the number of arrows in the next number. The amount of arrows here is so massive that the exponential notation describing this number would seem to go on forever alternating rows of stacks of rows of stacks of rows of stacks of power towers, all just to describe how high the stack of exponents is on a single tower of threes. This tremendously large number 
is now used to describe the number of arrows on this number, making this so explosively large that our universe would not be able to contain the number of arrows in this notation. This is Moser's number. And hopefully, we have a much deeper appreciation for the vastness of Moser's number. This understanding has required unique new tools and brings us to a new standard of what a large number truly looks like. So have we reached the end of our journey? Have we finally reached the biggest number we can? Not even close. We have much more to come with numbers that make even Moser's number look minuscule by comparison. So please join me for the next video where we explore big numbers.